Hi, I'm Guy Ramage, I work for Gallic Books and Belgravia Books. Uh, we chose Bitter Lemon Press because we'd all read a few of their titles and loved them. Uh, we'd met the team at Bitter Lemon, really liked them as well. We wanted to give them our support as soon as we could. And again, it taps into providing our customers with something a bit unusual. Uh, one of the f books that we'd all read was Badfellas by Ben Aquista, and we love that. And that sold the best out of that bay so far, purely on our pe personal recommendations. But I think it's representative of the Bitter Lemon list now that it's, it provides really great, accessible international crime writers, well packaged, and it gets that really nice balance between being sort of literary but accessible and enjoyable at the same time. Our first signing session was the launch of Gianrico's latest Temporary Perfections. Um, it's gone really well just on the back of having read it. Uh, I read Involuntary Witness, uh, it was really good. He, he was lovely, he was uh, completely as you'd expect, very humble, uh, very modest about his books but also very charming as well. Jane Aitken, the owner of Galley Books, had always wanted to have her own bookshop, not just to sell our own titles but just to talk to the readers directly I guess and to sell some lists that we wanted to support and that she thought weren't perhaps getting the support from other booksellers. We published French fiction translated into English, but we knew a lot of other good books weren't perhaps getting the support from other booksellers, and we did want to sort of provide something that was a bit different in front of people that they wouldn't have seen perhaps in Wolfstone's 3 for 2 campaigns or anywhere else. So translated fiction has gone really well.